Hi everybody, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and I am bringing you another unboxing video mainly because I know I haven't been posting videos. I know I haven't been doing what I'm supposed to be doing, um, but I bought this bag even though I wasn't supposed to be doing that either. Um, I did. I was in the wrong place at the wrong time or right place. Um, saw it. This is something I want. Uh, so I got it and I need to unbox it. It's been sitting in the box for a bit. Um, so sorry, the person who I bought this from, but yeah, I, it's time for it to come out. Um, and yeah, so you're going to find out what it is. And we're going to talk a little bit about some things. Uh, I don't think this video is going to be long. We will see, but hi, uh, it's been a crazy summer for me. Sorry that I've been a little MIA. I hope to get back into things, all vintage coach related. But yeah, be more active in my own Facebook group. And um, that's what I'm hoping for. So unboxing here. You guys like unboxing videos, right? Like to see my, um, my purchases. Okay. So... The description was this is one of the softest leathers that this person felt. Um, I think this is just. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tape on this plastic bag. And we are going to see. First, I'm gonna just feel. Yeah, it's pretty soft. Of course, I got another duffel sack. Oh my goodness. And it's a flat bottom. That's what I'm calling them. Flat bottom duffel sack. I did a video not too long ago about like the different duffel sack styles over the years. You know, duffel sacks came out in the 70s and they just kind of changed a little bit, but this is one of the more rare versions and I like it. I had a video that of an unboxing um, that was red, that red duffel sack. I paid a little less for this, but it's not as in great condition as the red one was, so hence that, but I still thought the price was too good to pass up. You know, I thought, I guess I should have looked at the listing. I thought this was mocha. It looks like it's black, which is fine. Um, but I prepared this video to talk about mocha. Shame on me for not being as prepared. There was an alteration on this bag, um, which I guess led to like this being upside down. We'll see how that goes. It definitely feels a little different. And I may make some adjustments in the um, future for myself. But yeah, it's kind of a weird um, fix that was done, but I don't know, that kind of looks pretty cool too. This is not original. I'll show you the original side. And I guess that kind of came undone. And so, I don't know. I don't know what the point of that was. Curious, maybe I'll figure it out. But let me just take the stuffing out of it. I like my duffel sacks to hang loose. Oh, she's beautiful. If you remember from my other video, these earlier versions from the 70s didn't come with, um, not all of the 70s, there are some 70 duffel sacks that have the creeds and they're gonna have the pocket, but they didn't come with pockets. So, which is fine with me. And here is her little identification stamp, her little, little cartouche, that coach cartouche. And this, guys, this is normal, and this isn't anything I would do anything about. I just want to show you that because some people might be like, oh, my gosh, it's a split. I mean, it would have been a little bit more overlapped, I guess, early on. But, um, and maybe, honestly, they didn't really overlap it much at all. But uh, that's just, I mean, it's absolutely fine. It's not a cut. This is from the overlapping of the trim. I'll just show you her little hardware because it's a little different, a little unique. She has this cute little short pull tab. The zipper is like butter. Oh my gosh. 
But yeah, she's black, not mocha. And that's how long ago I, I purchased this and hadn't opened it. That's how bad I am. Oh gosh, my memory. Hmm. Um, I'm just looking at her and observing her. She's really, she's, a, she's lovely. Oh my gosh, this bag is from the 70s and look how beautiful she is. I think the seller said she uses Big Four. That's not a, um, I know that's a conditioner a lot of people use. It's not one I uh, personally use, but I don't have anything against it. Um, it's just not, I just love what I use. I haven't really tried to go another route, but I will tell you, it looks awfully nice. So I've been meaning to try Big Four. I need to. Um, <clears throat> just looking, here's another. This is kind of like the over, this is really overlapped. Um, so that shouldn't separate, but that's what I mean by like the overlapping leather pieces there. Oh, so pretty. Hmm. Strap and her hang tag. She has an original hang tag with a little rough um, backing and this is a little faded. But that's okay. I still love her. Oh, and she's got the faceted ball chain. Can you see that? You see how it's not round? The sides are faceted, they're flat. That's a, uh, the ball chain that you see from the 70s. Ah, oh, love it. Okay, so let me put, I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna just kinda put her on because I just wanna try her on too on camera. That's so interesting, this is backwards. Sorry, I just wanted to show you that. Um, though a lot of counterfeits can have solid brass on um, the hardware, that is something to be weary of. It is not in these older pieces. It actually happened in the older pieces, which is probably where counterfeiters got it from. And they're like, ooh, let me put this on there. Um, so yeah, that is normal. But it's usually on the underside and it looks like maybe this was backwards. Maybe all of this was redone. It doesn't look like it. That's pretty original, but no, actually, look at that. This is not backwards because you have the divot here. This was printed on the front side. So interesting. Oh, let me see the other side. Yeah, this was, oh yeah, it's also on this side. You just can't see it because of how they redid the, um, sh this thing. They redid it. So it's underneath there on the front side. Interesting. I'll have to look to see if my red one had it on the front. I don't recall. Um, I'll mention it here if it did. But yeah, so this is this is black. And you can mainly tell by the um, interior suede. The suede on this is very black. Um, it's gonna be obviously more brown if it's mocha. So this is my new doll ball sack. And I love her. So you see me sharing these catalog photos, right? Um, and maybe you yourself want to like look through the catalogs. And if I haven't made this clear before, these are catalogs that are available to anybody and everybody. It's not my own private collection. Um, there's multiple places you can find them. I'm gonna share where that is right now. So um, if you wanna look at the catalogs yourself, check out colors for a certain year, check to see what bags were made, when they might've been new. I mean, just look, get an idea of what vintage coach styles are out there and then go from there. Maybe you're new to vintage coach. I really recommend you look through catalogs and they are available. So in my um, Facebook group, Vintage Coach Eye Candy, if you go to the top of the page, there are tabs and you will see a featured section. I think it's to the top left. And that featured section is going to house a lot of um, posts, not too many, but some posts that might be important for you to read, okay, so or look at. So I recommend you do that. But one of those was a post done by Rachel Noir. She created a link tree for the group. Um, and then in that link tree, there are multiple different websites. And um, in particular to what I'm talking about, a Google Drive that houses a lot of catalogs the most catalogs i have seen in one given place there are multiple places that you can go for this information but this google drive has been posted in a lot of public forums so i have posted it we've posted it in our forum um it seems like it's just being freely shared so i think it's a really great resource there are other places that you can go um 
like uh, the Purse Forum and um, Coach Counterfeits in particular. Those are some other places you can go for these catalogs, uh, but I will tell you that Google Drive, which is also posted in other places, like I think the first place I ever saw it was Reddit, but anyways, you can go to this Google Drive. I have a link for it in the Facebook group. You can go and, um, and check out these catalogs yourself and like have them just easily accessible on your phone too or your computer. Um, it's a, I guess, I mean, I have it on mine. I just, I don't know if it loads every time or I don't understand how all that works, but anyways, it works. Um, yeah, just a lot of really great, um, uploaded catalogs to look at. So check that out. It's a really great idea, especially if you're new in vintage coach and maybe you don't know of all of the styles that existed. It's a really great place to go find that. It's also a great place to like try to help yourself identify colors and what kind of color options were available certain years. So yeah, it's a great resource. Definitely recommend that you check it out. If you didn't know that it was there, it is there as well as some other really great links like Rachel Noir also has her own webpage that is particular to the Bonnie Cashin era. And I highly recommend that you look at that. It, now that is some major eye candy right there. Major eye candy. I'm a huge Bonnie Cashin fan though, but if you are too, you totally need to check that website out if you have not yet. That is also in the link tree. Um, in the link tree, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my bag unboxing. Thanks for watching. I hope to put some more videos out. I have a lot of bags I need to talk about, don't I? So I should get to it, right? Um, all right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.